The SD9 work surface is made up of 24 assignable faders which are divided into two sections of 12. Either side of the fader trays are fader bank assign buttons. The left-hand side buttons control the first 12 faders and the right-hand bank buttons control the second 12 faders. These are clearly indicated as two blocks of 12. The fader bank buttons quickly assign the faders in blocks of 12, making it possible for the user to swiftly move between all the channel and output faders. Each bank has its own dedicated LCD scribble strip that displays information about the faders currently assigned to each bank. Located above the fader bank buttons is the screen assign button. There are three of these buttons on the console work surface. Two are located on the fader tray and one can be found in the upper section, indicated by master screen. These buttons allow the operator to quickly assign that section to the large TFT display. Directly above each fader is a mute and multi-function channel select button. Don't panic though, as in normal mode, this button is always defaulted as the fader solo button. You'll notice there is an LCD function button. This button provides access to the other features of the channel select buttons, and these are explained in more detail later in this video. The LCD scribble strip display provides clear indication of the channel each fader is controlling. Directly above the LCD is a dedicated multi-segment LED meter. Moving to the upper panel, you will notice a large TFT touchscreen. This screen allows accurate feedback of the input channels, output channels and master section functions. There is a single row of rotary encoders directly beneath the screen. They can be assigned by touching the screen or by using the conveniently placed quick select buttons on the left-hand side of the screen. These buttons quickly assign the desired parameter to the encoders and buttons. Screen scroll can also be used to step between rotary controls. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll find the channel processing controls. This area of the console allows comprehensive control of the assigned channel. The labeling of each control should be familiar to any analog or digital console user. The final control we're going to focus on in this section is the touch and turn rotary and button. In the master section screen view, these can be assigned to any rotary parameter simply by touching them on the screen. Once touched, the rotary and button control the assigned parameter. This includes controlling the integrated wave sound grid option. The other section of the console includes snapshots, including next and previous, master level and solo levels, headphones and talkback, screen, lights, and USB.